Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT, you love to see it, Dynamite, the wow. explosive one, Jonas. You are the man on the sticks, the and we boy. are playing Madden 20 with the Cleveland Brownanites! Yeah, we are. Yeah, I uh, brought TNT on the Browns vids, because I'm not doing them solo dolo at the moment. Uh, no. Yeah, dude, we got... Oh, yeah, we got some players on this team. We got Nate the Crook Hookland. Got what I need, <laughs> LaMichael Reed. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's the full effect. <laughs> we, we will never speak their names after this point. <laughs> yeah, there's Roy Harvey. I used to... Roy Danger <laughs> Harvey. There's all sorts of stuff, but yeah. We're, it, uh, it is uh, strictly TNT Dynamite, Jonas... Uh, meta where we just talk, talk. about <laughs> yeah. everything. It's not like when I do them solo and I talk about what I'm doing and things like that. We're just gonna do yeah. stuff. Sorry boys. Sorry boys. Sorry we, boys. There's eight and a half seasons up to this point of everything that you want. So I, look I, I know it's gonna be hard for some of you guys out there. Wow, dude, I haven't seen a Browns helmet in so long myself, though. I know, dude, it looks good, don't it? It's refreshing. I know, feels good. It's Look refreshing. good, feel good. I got a good tight end on this team, too. <laughs> you got a good tight Chase end. Chase the man, Frank. You got a good tight end in real life Whoa, there, buddy. Oh, say -o. Don't, don't, Don't count yourself out there, sweetheart. Oh, look at that sack. No, Jonas, you're immediately talking about the play. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Give me a topic, then, motherfucker. I'm the player. What do you mean you're the player? I remember when we first decided to do these whole topic videos. Yeah, you were like, topic. you were like, hey, you come up with a topic, and I'll come up with a topic. You just been topic hoarding, dude. I, I like your topics, man. I like, I like be, the way you work it. Because your topics are usually like food or, or girls you date. <laughs> <laughs> Those, those are the makeup of your life. That really is my life. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to eat today? <laughs> or who am I going to fuck today? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Make a paint a picture of who Jonas is. I mean, eating and fucking, that's all you do. <laughs> that would be a great life. <laughs> There's nothing um, wrong with it. Yeah, man, I feel you. When was the last time you went on a hike? Uh, I don't really do nature. At all? Nah, fam, I'm good. There's like bugs and ish out there. I'm not really all okay. about the bugs. Is uh, is that a personal thing, or is that just like... Nah, I, you know, Jonas, look, all right, look. You, you already, you know me. You've lived with me long enough where you know, like, I don't really do a lot of things. <laughs> like, I'm not getting in the pool. Yeah, yeah. I'm not getting in the hot tub. I ain't playing no volleyballs. I'm not, I'm not... I'm not going on a nature walk. You and outside just aren't really friends. I mean, it's just like, I don't know. I, I feel like it, really what it is, I feel like there's a lot of things that you wouldn't engage in as well. Like what? But a lot of the things that you do engage in just don't overlap with a lot of the things that I engage in. Because if I asked you to play Monster Hunter World for six hours, you'd be like, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, well, that's exactly what I want to do. Okay, fair. <laughs> I go and play D&D &D once a week. You're like, eh, I, I mean, I'd give it a shot. But I kind of feel like you going and playing D&D &D with me would be like the same thing as, as me going to one of your parties. Where it's like you go to a couple and then you'd be like, eh, it's not really for me. Yeah, like you went and played volleyball a couple of times and you were like, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not that I don't do things. It's just that the things that I like to do differ. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I like I to go to the movies early in the morning. And if I asked you to do that, you'd be like, eh, I'm going to sleep in. I'll be like, all right. Yeah. Like, There's a ton of things. And, and I ask you to go to the movies at 10 p.m. <laughs> I'm like, go to the movies. And you're like, I'm now. not going to a movie at 10 p.m. It's far too late. I work nights now. Yeah. Actually, I might do it now that I work nights. Yeah, because you're used to being up all night. Yeah. Well, you made a good point. You were like, it's late, dude. I might fall asleep. <laughs> like, 100%. But now you're used to being up all night, so you, that wouldn't be as much of an yeah. issue. So. 100%, man. Like, even, even staying up at night, man. If I'm just, like, in a dark room and I get somewhat comfortable... And I start like rocking my leg or something. Woo! That <laughs> leg rock would knock me right the fudge out, man. I don't know what it is. It's that comfort, man. You're just like, ah. Oh. Yeah, it just initiates the ambient receptors in my. <laughs> <laughs> something about. Do you. <laughs> All right. When I was a kid, my mom used to tell me that I would rock in like the backseat of the car. 
And I noticed like a lot of my family, like my brother and my sister did the same thing. Where it was like not just like a, like a slight rock, but to the point where they just like leaning forward. Yeah, like you're doing. They lean yeah. forward and go back real yeah. fast, kind of like a baby and like like a, a, like a rocking chair without a chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you never do that. No. You're not a rock boy. Not, I'm no. I'm a foot shake boy. I'm not. You're a, rock a foot boy. shaker. Oh, so yeah. you'll like you'll start shaking your foot we a little to, bit. We used to call it driving the car because it would be like your foot would be on the ground. And you'd just be like. Nin, 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 and it would like it would like shift gears and it would get oh, faster, dude. Like the quick leg shape. Yeah, dude. Okay. Because I right. remember like being in like school, like yeah. elementary school, where you have the big desk that stuffs inside the desk. <laughs> yeah. And like me and like some of my friends would be doing it. You could just hear our legs like thump, 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 thump on the desk because like you're like moving your legs so fast. All right, I do that. And the problem is like, I I do it subconsciously. Like I don't know I'm moving that fast, and people yeah. will be like, "Will you stop moving?" Like my ex-wife would be like, "Stop moving your leg," and I'm like. I didn't one. I didn't know I'm doing it, and two, I can't. <laughs> it physically pains me to try to stop. Like if I'm my legs moving and then I'm made aware of it and I'm trying to stop it, it's like all I want to do is move it. It's just like oh, really. It's like all that energy needs Does, to go somewhere. Okay, so it's not like it doesn't serve a purpose as like to put you to sleep or anything, huh? I think like I do do it, sometimes I do it when I'm in bed. Like kind of like what you said, rock it, and then you end up falling asleep or whatever. Or sometimes I'll end up like rubbing my feet together or something like that. I think we all have our little like sleep things like that that they're almost subconscious sometimes too. It's funny because in the field that I am, I actually I watch like an infant. I watch like infants fall asleep and stuff yeah. currently, and it's like I will watch like some of the mannerisms yeah. that this this tiny human does to fall asleep and i'm like i do that same ish it's like it's just a basic human thing yeah like i do that same stuff yeah dude it, it may just be <laughs> that's interesting so yeah shaking my foot man rocking i don't rock anymore but i do shake the foot to fall asleep sometimes do the old foot shake i'm doing uh it now. dick chuck used to rock when we would whoa that is his name is richard charles <laughs> when, we used to, when we used to play magic <laughs> yes he would rock back and forth when we would play and Deuce. he would like and he would use an elf deck and he would like wait. Get all <laughs> wait wait first off let's not let's not just grace over the fact that you just called this man dick chuck his name was richard which is dick and charles which is chuck all right now continue with the story right, dick he, chuck. he played a magic deck that was all elves and i don't know what that has to do with anything and he would rock back and forth but when he would play the elf he would be like he would be like he would like make this weird voice and be like, "Here comes another elf!" <laughs> and he would like be rocking and like, yeah, it was it was interesting. Something about magic players, you know this man. Yeah. Some of the biggest nerds, man. Their own breed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played it though. I definitely played some magic. I like to get back into magic. It's just way too it's expensive. It's so expensive. Dude. Yeah. It's too much. Did somebody give me like a stipend? A <laughs> magic stipend. <laughs> yeah. That Here's a thousand dollars a month to play magic cards. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You Maybe call Bill Gates. Bezos, yeah. man. That's like a drop in the bucket to him. You know what, Jonas? I've been contemplating that, man. Asking Bezos for money? Yeah. I mean, I know you guys are close. <laughs> or just like, uh, what's his name? Michael Bloomberg? He's got it. Yeah, dude. He's looking to make friends with, with the blacks. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm so mad. I can't get through, like, watching an hour's worth of YouTube without seeing a Bloomberg commercial pop up. Is it really that big? It is It is awful. Awful how many commercials. And I'm, I'm not even a political guy. I'm not saying that you shouldn't vote for whoever you don't want to vote for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'm just tired of seeing his face. And I'm tired of seeing him pander talking about, like, it's always, like, pictures of him with, like, some black people at church or something. Or, like, him laughing with an old black did you couple. See the, did you see the commercial on the Super Bowl that Trump did that had, like, a black lady? No. And she's just like... Donald Trump helped me, blah, 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 blah. It was like the most pandering, like, in-your-face, like, please tell black people that I love them commercial. And it was, like, voted, like, the worst commercial of the Super Bowl. And it was like, it was, like and she's like this lady who, like, I don't even know what it was. It was something. She's like, Donald Trump helped me get back to my family and, did, did, and brought us together. And, and it was, like, showed her, like, hugging her family and, like. I was just like, this is like the most like absurd commercial I've ever seen. It's awkward as f. Like it was just weird. Let me tell you something about black people, Jonas. <laughs> okay. All right. See, we love being pandered to, but we hate being pandered to. All right. 
It's like that love hate relationship. Yeah, right. Like I, mm, it like it's cool, but on the same note, it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Well, here's <laughs> Does that make any sense? If it was, if it was like genuine, it would be a different story. But you know, it was strictly to yeah. promote an image that is not true. That's the thing, right, dude? It's like if it was like a respectful, like this is what whatever. But it's not. It's literally trying to convince the black folks to vote for exactly. him. Exactly. You're not gonna convince me that all these old white men ain't at home saying n word just like all the time. They named their dog that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they named their dog that. Fun fact. Just for the, the ability to say it more often. Fun fact. Kids at home. H.P. Lovecraft. Great writer. Made some of the most memorable horror fiction that we've ever come across. Look up the name of H.P. Lovecraft's cat. Uh-oh. I'm not going to tell you what it is, Jonas. You can look it up after the video. And then uh, you... Then you make a decision about. You him. make a decision about how you feel about Mr. HP. What they said about Bloomberg too What's is that? he has more sexual assault um, accusations than Trump did. Yeah. Like it was something like Trump Whoa. had like forty some. Bloomberg has like sixty some. But he has non-disclosure agreements with all the people. And Elizabeth Warren <laughs> called him out and was like, <laughs> was like, I wrote up a contract to release all of your victims so they can speak. I'm a lawyer. Here you go. Just sign it. They can just t- they can all tell their story and get. Yeah, he didn't do that. He was like, they may they may have just not liked a joke I told. Yo, yo, this, I'm, I'm trying to decide which is the safer route to go. Should we consider with the political talk or should we just delve deeper into racism? <laughs> <laughs> They're both so funny enough. I'm like, I don't know which one what is a safer. Good way to uh, to <laughs> transition people from the typical Browns videos I put out to this style. Well, I say you vote for whoever you want to, man. Me too, dude. Vote because who? your vote counts just as much as anybody else's. The country is just as effed, or is just gonna do just as well either way. <laughs> Facts. Uh, you know, you know the, the real issue, Jonas, is the amount of money that is put forth. Me and Jonas were actually... Oh, let's talk about that. I did say I wanted to bring this up. We were talking about the lottery. Yes. And I was telling you that I was going to stop paying rent and I was going to become a professional lottery player. Yeah, and then you told me when uh, when you win, I'll get a million dollars. But yeah. until then, I have to support you. Yes. That's and great. it sounded like a great idea. Great plan. And then we kind of went off on a tangent yeah, we about... Did. How they should actually, they should have a government lottery. And I think it'd be a good idea that if they vetted the people who won, and and it'd be given only to, like, humanitarians. Now, I already know that they give a lot of, like, charitable funds to people who, like, start charities or who are doing good so they continue continue doing their work. But, you know, should they get a little kickback? If you're out here, like, feeding the homeless every day and you're putting so much of your own personal time and hours into helping others, I think you deserve a little kickback. And I feel like it would incentivize people because it's like you give so many hours of community service or to helping people or to educating children or doing whatever you do that is considerable charitable work, and then your name gets entered into the, the lottery. And the lottery is you win a million dollars. And then the lottery is you win ten million dollars. And but you're already vetted because you've already been putting forth this effort. I would almost rather that like instead of being like one one mil, one ten million dollar winner, there's like twenty five hundred thousand dollar winners because that's still life changing money. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you do all this charitable work. We'll give twenty people a year five hundred thousand dollars. I'm not mad at that. And then twenty people, you know, and there's probably, I mean, you're probably putting a few tens of thousands of people in the in the pool, probably. Yeah, and it would incentivize people. I think it's it's a better idea than the current lottery, where just anybody yeah. can get in, though, because it that's a, cor- it's gambling. It would it's, end up getting corrupt somehow. Of, I mean, as because people things. start nominating people who weren't really good people to get in there, and like it's yeah, kind of like things. our government. <laughs> I mean, Jonas, is that how you feel? No, I'll just, I'll no, just dude, tell everyone. There's for it. no way you can buy a seat in Senate or anything, just, or buy the presidency or any of that. Tell, you can't do that. Just tell people you're gonna vote for, nobody. Jonas. Nobody. You're not vote for anybody, dude. Get out of here with that. <laughs> you're not gonna vote, so now you're not gonna use your God-given right to vote, Jonas. I don't think. I, I, then you don't have any right to complain, right? 
How often do you hear me complain? Oh, okay. So, Jonas, you say, explain, uh, explain to us, all of our crazy townsfolk, why voting isn't important. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I think, here's what I will say, but I think it's important to place a vote for someone you want to vote for, not to just place a vote because they are the two options. But Jonas, the lesser of two evils, Jonas. And I the think evil, that's the wrong way to vote. The that's evil you don't feel. know versus the evil you know. Right. It's, uh, it's, I don't think that you should be forced to vote for one of two people that you don't want either. All right, Jonas. Question for you. Yes. All right, so... Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein are running for office. Ooh. Who do you vote for? <laughs> mm. The lesser of two evils, Jonas, right? One of them made you laugh for years. Had a great show putting pops. One, one of them put out great movies. Yeah, one of them. I was going to get into that. One of them put out great movies. Uh, I don't know any Weinstein movies off the top of my head. If I had to vote between one of those two, I'd probably take Bill Cosby. Yeah, all right. I was going to tell you not to answer, but I do want to see in the comments below who you would vote who for. Who would you vote for? Uh, ugh. I'm going to have to say the name, though, my damey. What? Sadate. Pootie Tank? On the next episode. You got to say your answer, too. I don't have to do a goddamn thing. I'm an adult. <laughs> Then he's going to vote for both and Trump. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Well, <laughs> you're not all wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you've already done that, uh, just tell everyone that you love them. For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out.